Hi, this is Rob from Intelligent Irrigation, LLC, and we're here in beautiful Las Vegas, where we're doing a special install. And, of course, you all know my special guest, John Kohler. And John's here, and we're going to install it in his backyard. And, of course, you know John. John does all kinds of experiments, and he lets you, the people, know what items are best. Therefore, you don't have to waste your time. Go out and try them. John will try them for you. And John's going to put the aqua jet in his yard, and we're going to do some raised bed gardens. So we want to thank John for that. And, John, what do you think about the aqua jet and the installation? First of all, let me say that we appreciate you letting us do this install. And we're really looking forward to it. And tell us, you've seen the aqua jet now. What do you think about it? Yeah, yeah, well... So Rob, I've had a lot of experience with uh, gardening and the AquaJet is a whole new revolution in irrigation. I mean, uh, right now I'm using drip irrigation in all the raised beds here and I've had my fair share of challenges. You know, sometimes the emitters get clogged up, sometimes a lot of stuff just doesn't work properly and I don't get even distribution of water to all my plants. So. I'm always looking for new products that are going to push the envelope, allow actually uh, more yield in my garden, and allow my plants to actually, you know, live healthier and live better. And I believe the AquaJet, by, you know, it's subsoil irrigation, which is pretty unique, you know. There's few products that have the subsoil irrigation, you know, especially here in Las Vegas. It's an arid climate, man. Things dry out fast. If you stand outside, you're going to be dehydrated really quick, and my soil dehydrates very fast, especially when I'm putting water in the top and then it has to soak down. All the water on the top, you know, I mean, I could water and within a half hour I come out, everything looks dry even though the water is soaked in. So with the subsoil irrigation, we're putting water where the plants need it in the root zone, but more importantly, in my opinion, aerating the root zone to get, you know, the optimal biologic growth of the beneficial microbes in there that are really the things that help catalyze and pull the nutrients in the plants. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, a trouble-free garden and I know the install is going to be right this time. And, uh, you know, I, I hope it's going to work great. And I'm going to show you guys on my channel how it does. You're going to check me out at growingyourgreens.com. Yes, and, and like John touched on, what we're going to do is we're going to install a, an irrigation a supply system. In other words, what it does is it delivers. Now, the AquaJet will deliver air, water, and nutrients. And John will be able to take advantage of that. And remember, the key is it's, it's delivering them in the root zone. So you can deliver your liquid nutrients, your azomite into the root zone, and you can also spray it on as a foilier and get a double whammy. So we're looking forward to John testing out the delivery system of the AquaJet also and taking advantage of being able to add the nutrients. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the total installation. We're going to come back and show you that and walk you through the installation as we go. And then, of course, John's going to do his video for his viewers and show them exactly how the AquaJet works and, and the benefits of it. So we're going to get on with the installation. We're really looking forward to it. We want to thank John and we're really excited about it John thank you very much all right well thank you Rob for coming out today thank you okay so right now what we're doing is the installation at John Kohler's house for growing your greens and what we've done is we've come out of this wall right here and on the other side of this wall there's this really awesome filtering system that awesome filtering system so we're coming off that coming out coming down and then we trenched and what we're doing is we're trenching up all alongside the house over to the other side of the yard through the raised bed gardens with the drip system. As you know, half the yard is on drip system, the other half is going to be on the aqua jet. So what we're doing is we're supplying a separate water source for the water jet so it doesn't have to be restricted by the drip. So we come in here and we're taking it to our area and that is what we're going to show you next. Okay, so here we are on the other side of the yard, and what we're going to do is we're installing the raised beds where John's building them while we installed the irrigation system. So let me explain where we're at so far. We've taken the irrigation system from the point where you've seen, brought it through the yard, and we brought it under the cement right here, as you see, and we're taking it back over here where the valves are. So John wants to put his valves at the side right here. So we brought the water source into the valves, and now we're coming back to the raised beds. So let's show you this configuration. Now we come back to the raised beds here and on the raised bed right here is going to be the front wall and we're installing two aqua jets in a four foot wide garden because we like that configuration, like the way it worked out and John likes it also. So we're installing two. So what we did is we stubbed up here off our hotline in the garden. We're going to come up and then we're going to come straight out with the aqua jet. And so we're going to continue, and we'll be back to show you our progress. So until then, this is Rob, 
Intelligent Irrigation, LLC. Thank you. Okay, so here we are now, and, and what we've done is we brought the water around to the source where we had the valve. So this is where we start counting because once you get the water to the valves, that's where you plan out your beds and you want to plan out where you're going to take your irrigation. So what we did is we put in three valves to feed multiple beds. So we got the feed line coming into the valves. We got it coming out. This one's going to go down that way to feed those beds. And we got two valves right here. They're going to go to the back to feed the back beds. And so it doesn't matter where you put your valves, as long as you're comfortable with where you put your valves, but once you bring your water source to your valves, where your valves are, are going to determine where your bed is. So what you want to do is you want to plan ahead of time how your irrigation is going to lay out. As you can see here, what we've done is we've trenched. We've had our plan, so we've trenched everywhere. And as you see, we're coming here and we're going to a bed over there. We're going to bring another line to come through to go to the back over there. And then our third line is coming over here and it's going to feed these beds right here. Now, the beds are still in progress and they're stu still being built, okay? So you got three here and you got some back there. But what we're got to do first is we've got to run the irrigation with them. So we're trenching everything, we're taking the irrigation where it needs to be to which bed it needs to be and after that we can install the aquajet so when we come back we will show you the irrigation as it's brought to the beds and as we start to install the aquajet so once again this is rob and we'll be back with the next segment okay so we're back now and what we've done is we've got all the pipe laid underneath we've got three zones here working on the three beds so we got three beds on one zone two beds on another zone and there's going to be another two beds against the wall on the other zone as you see what we're doing right here with the aqua jet, we came in, as you've seen the pipes underground, there's a whole pipe coming along across under here. We came up and now we're coming out to water with the aqua jet. And if you follow me down here, we'll show you what we're doing on the other side. Is so when we get to the end, we place a piece in here to make it circular. So you have a circular motion going. And these are two aqua jets in one four foot wide bed because we feel that that just works better. This is what John wanted, this is what I suggested. So as you see, we got two aqua jets in every bed, except this one, we have one, so John can compare what works best between two and one. What we're doing right now is we're getting ready to flush the system before we button it up. So as you see, right here, we just put a T with PVC coming out. That's just to flush the water out of the bed. After it's flush, we're just going to put this back together again right there. And then it's good to go. So what we're going to do right now is flush the system. And then we'll come back. John's going to fill up the beds, get the soil prepared, put the soil in. The irrigation is ready to go. So right now, we're just going to do the test. So we'll be right back with that. OK, what you see now is we're flushing the system. As you can see, as it comes out the end, and we're flushing in case there's any dirt or chips or anything from drilling or anything uh, dust from when you're putting it in, that you get out, you want to make sure that you flush all the beds. So as you can see, we got water running, and we're going to flush it for about uh, four or five minutes, make sure it's all clean, make sure all the water's out. So as you see, flushing of the AquaJet, next thing we're going to do is we're going to button it up and see how it runs. So we'll be right back with our test run. Okay, we are now test firing the AquaJet. As you see it engage, Bam, we've got four lines running. And two beds. And this will give you an idea of what they work like, or what two of them looks like in the bed. So you can see the water coverage as they crisscross each other in each bed. So there's the test firing of the AquaJet. We're going to continue to test all the beds, and we'll be back with some more in the next segment. Until then, this is Rob from Intelligent Irrigation, LLC, showing of the AquaJet. Okay, this is Rob again from Intelligent Irrigation, LLC, and I have with me John Kohler from Growing Your Greens. And as you can see, we've got the AquaJet installed in the back. John's building his beds, and they look really good. This is going to look really awesome. Can't wait to see the finished product. We're going to come back and kind of button it up for him in another week or two. But, John, what do you think so far? Tell us your plans for the rest of the garden. Yeah, man, this looks real great, Rob. Thanks for uh, doing the install. I know that it's going to be installed properly, you know. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this thing place looks tore up now, but it's all going to work out. And uh, the major plan is we're going to stack basically two blocks high, fill it up with soil. That's why the... Um, aqua jets, you know, above where the blocks are now because it's going to be too high. 
fill it up with some good organic compost, enrich it with some uh, beneficial microbes and the azomite and the worm castings, all the good stuff I like to use. And uh, then I'm going to just start planting out in it and hopefully it's going to grow really well because now the air is going to get injected into the root zone which is going to be good for the plants, good for the microbes and hopefully I'm going to have the best growing season yet. And that, that's our goal too, is not only to conserve water, but when it comes to growing food and vegetables, there's really nothing that you want to sacrifice because that's what you need for your own health. So as John says, it's not just about conserving water, but it's about feeding the nutrients and getting your own healthy grow for the best nutrient package that you can get for your own. And that's why you grow your greens, is so you can get healthy and you can get your own nutrient package. John, I want to thank you for not only myself, but for everybody else in the education. Anytime I need to know anything about garden, I go on your channel, I type it in and we get it and then I go out and execute in the garden. So I want to thank you for all the work that you do for us and thank you for giving the AquaJet a try. We're really excited about you growing your greens with the AquaJet. So once again, thank you. All right, yeah, I'm excited to be using it. And the final thing I want to say with you guys is, you know, even if this system increases my yields by 10%, 20%, which I believe it will, just by the way it works, it's, it's going to save 20% of water off the top. But if it increases my yields, it's definitely worth it. So uh, stay tuned and subscribe to my videos at growingyourgreens.com to uh, find out the updates on how the AquaJet worked. Yes, and that's very important because John's going to have the final video that you'll want to see. And go to his channel, www.growingyourgreens.com on YouTube, and you can see the whole total installation of the AquaJet that he has filmed. So for Intelligent Irrigation LLC, we want to thank Growing Your Greens. And remember to go on the website at www.intelligentirrigationllc to purchase the AquaJet. Once again, John, thank you. And once again, we'll see you at another video. Okay, so we're here. And finishing up the install as a part one install, as you see, we got the four raised beds. We got dual aqua jets at each bed. We got one aqua jet in the bed behind me. But now John's going to fill the bed with the soil. After he fills the soil, he can start planting. And hopefully, we'll be back to film the last version of this video. We'll call it a part two. And we'll film when the, everything is done, all the soil is in, everything's going to be ready to be planted. We'll make one last video to show you the final results, or kind of like the beginning of the final results. In other words, that's when John will start planting. But for now, the AquaJet is in. We're just waiting for John to uh, finish the construction of the raised beds. He's going to raise the beds up to about here. We got the AquaJet at a four inch level because he's got some nice loose soil, some compost, and males mixing that. So, what we did is we put the AquaJet in, a, in what would be a four inch trench. So, the bottom of the AquaJet right here is four inches below the surface. And so, we're going to go with that. The water will come out and capillate. Um, we showed you what it looked like when we did the test run. Everything looks good. Everything's working good. We're really happy and, and excited about this install. So we'll come back with a part two, but this will do it for part one of the install for Growing Your Greens, John Kohler in beautiful Las Vegas, and he's going to grow a lot of greens with the AquaJet. So once again, this is Rob from Intelligent Irrigation, LLC. Go to our website, www intelligent irrigation LLC where you can purchase the AquaJet and the amendments to go with it to grow your garden. So once again we'll see you at www.intelligentirrigationllc.com. Thank you.